you know, we could all use some encouragement. And I've got some good news for you. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark. Greeting, friends, and welcome back to 5 Minutes with Mark. We're going to pick up the story, Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, at verse 47. If you've been with me so far, you know this has been a really interesting week. Jesus continues, And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. So, three times Jesus is quoted their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Those are quotes from Isaiah and Jeremiah. Three times Jesus has said, it's better to go through this life missing a body part than to be cast into hell. And here he says, hell fire. Better to be maimed, lamed, and blind in one eye than to spend an eternity separated from God in a place of eternal torment. One of the major rules of Bible study as we study the scripture, if you see an idea or a passage or a sentence or a word repeated over and over, there is a big idea that we are supposed to grab hold of. The idea here, I think, is pretty simple. There is a place of eternal torment. It exists. There are a lot of Christians today who say, I don't believe in hell. Well, Jesus disagrees with you. Jesus believes in it so much so that he gave us three ways to avoid it. Cut off your hand. Cut off your foot. Pluck out your eye. The hand, of course, we said is about grasping hold of things. That there's things in this world, in this life, that you have grabbed hold of and you don't want to let go of. You have to let go. Your foot is the direction you're going in, the things you're doing. If the things you're doing, the way you're headed is taking you away from God, you need to change. Take some radical steps and move the other direction. Here he says, if your eye causes you to sin, the eye is the center of our desire. The eye is where our lust is born. And Jesus says, look, if there are things in this world that you are lusting after, if there are things that you desire more than God, if you are caught up in the want to the point where you are sinning, you are rebelling against God, God is telling you to do this, and you're saying, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but right now I want this. Or... You simply say, no, I'm not interested in that, Lord. I'm going to go do this. I want this more. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It's better to go through life with one eye than having two to go into eternal death, separation from God, and eternal torment. I know it's not a happy message. I know it's not a popular thought. I know in our churches today, we're not preaching a lot about hell because, you know, it doesn't market well. The marketplace of ideas, hell is very low on the idea market. But it's real. And I think that as believers of Jesus, as followers of Christ, as members of the community of faith, we need to remember this we need to remember that there is a dire consequence for failure to repent. There is a place of eternal torment and suffering. And people who live their lives focused on self, on the things they can grab hold of, on the things they can do, and satisfying the lust that they have. People who live worshiping I 
rather than worshiping God. We'll die. And when that happens, they will stand before God and be judged. And at the end of that judgment, there is a separation that is painful and eternal. So how could God do that? So, well, he gave us a way out. He's been there all along. All he desires is that we acknowledge him, that we love him, that we follow after him, and that we make us second. That's why Jesus came. That's why Jesus is teaching this. And I believe it was really important to him, so important that he said it three times. Bam, bam, bam. We're supposed to get it. And if we don't, we're in trouble. See you tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying this Bible study, this quick devotion. If you'd like more content, you'd like to know more about me and see more of the things that I'm doing, check out my website, theeclecticmonk.com. There you'll find out about my video vlog, my podcast, and a whole lot of other stuff. Hope you'll join me there. Thanks.